music for this show is interesting because the original opera that we were inspired by is written by Bartok for an enormous symphony orchestra. For me, it was trying to find a way to produce this score, reproduce this score faithfully to Bartok's original intentions, but bringing the whole size of it down, the scale of it down, and enabling this music to be heard with fresh ears in a new way, but close, almost like a one-on-one, -on -one, it feels like, in these smaller venues that we were interested in. Seeing seven musicians working together and creating something of their component parts, I hope that that will be a really beautiful second picture to the story that we're telling on the stage, because they are just side by side in this, in, in this production. And then the joy for me coming in with a new set of musicians is to bring the energy that I've got and the experience that I've got of this piece and get them as excited about it as I am. You know, it's, it's really interesting to think that this is over 100 years old and there's still moments of, of this modernity, you know? It still feels like there's some colors that you've never heard before and, uh, and moments of, sort of stru musical structure that still feel daring and brave and exciting and genre-defying and, and our way in through the lens of of dementia has just has opened up a whole new way of of thinking about the story that we're trying to tell finding finding the essence of it the distillation of the material and presenting it in its in its purest form is really complementary to the concept of the storytelling and that can be dramatic storytelling or musical storytelling or the best of both worlds is when the two are completely entwined together It's like sort of fringe theatre, really. You know, it's like being in a downtown Manhattan club that you wouldn't expect to see any of that sort of stuff. And suddenly you're, you're in that world that, that um, you're immersed into this sort of musical dramatic world.